So I've been trying to get wireless audio to my smartphone for my Facebook Lives or if I'm just making videos on my phone. So I've been using this wired uh, solution for a little bit now and I can't stand it. So I went online and I found this. This is the Sony ECM AW40. Well, sorry, AW4, ECM AW4. And what it is, it's a Bluetooth lavalier system. It's wireless and hypothetically, I should be able to use an adapter to have the transmitter go into my phone so I can have a lav kit. So I'm gonna unbox this thing. You and I are gonna do this right now. I haven't opened it yet. I'm pretty excited, so let's do it. Now I'm using my uh, DJI Osmo to hold my iPhone 7 Plus and it's a mess because using that dongle, you can't get the iPhone 7 Plus to slide into the holster. Now, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I actually had to reverse it. So this is the first piece. This is the microphone. And there's another one just like it, except that's the transmitter. And what's interesting about these is that on the top of each, you'll notice there's two red dots. Those are microphone input, inputs. And the actual microphone has a built-in mic, but you can put a third-party microphone, like I'm using now for my phone, inside of this to get better audio. Now, the reason there's one on the receiver as well is because you can, in theory, have your photographer who's next to your camera with this plugged in, put a mic in there. And with that mic, you can actually listen to each other from these headphone jacks on the side. So microphone on top, headpiece, earpiece in the earpiece, microphone, earpiece on that side, and you'll be able to talk to each other. So if he says, hey, you need to move to the right a little bit, you can hear it because he has a way to communicate. Now on the other side, there's your power slide and your volume button. And these take one AAA battery each. And honestly, they're not much bigger than a AAA battery. You can see right there, that's all you got going and you're pretty good. And the thing is, they're pretty lightweight. And according to Sony, they can work up to 164 feet, 164 feet. And they should give you clear audio. So these are the actual units. Let's see what else they give you in the actual bag, box rather. Here it is. Open this sucker. Oh, see, this is why I need uh, wireless because I'm getting tangled in the wires. So we got uh, an earpiece, like I said. You could put that into the um, the units itself to listen. We got a nice felt uh, bag here to keep your things in. A UPS truck just pulled up. I didn't own or anything, so hopefully I'm good. Um, this is an earpiece for that headset. And actually, catch that right there earpiece for that headset so you can see it right there that looks like and then you have the cord that goes from the receiver to your camera and if you notice this is not a trrs jack which you need for smartphones this is this trs and i'll go into trs and trrs in another video but you need an adapter which i have which i'm using for my setup here and then again you get another earpiece so this is actually, this is funny because I bought the ECM AW3s, which were terrible. I made a video about that. And what this little sock looking thing is, it's actually a wind sleeve. So you, as a wind sleeve, so it's kind of like a sleeping bag, really, if you look at it. So let's just test this thing out. I have some uh, AAAs inside because this takes one AAA each. And we'll check it out right now here is a triple a and we're to get this in here and you can notice they're not much bigger than a triple a to be honest with you boom that goes in there snap shut the other one is it's pretty simple to do actually and the nice thing about them is they're lightweight so it should have no problem hooking on to my phone and not messing with the weight too much now i know that um pairing these is fairly in is fairly easy you just have to power it on power it on the blue lights would blink and then once they're solid they're connected so I have my um, TRS to TRRS adapter right here and this is what's gonna go into my phone and what I'm going to do which I hope works is I'm going to have the receiver 
with the cord that it comes with, that's gonna be the output, boom, okay? Then, this is gonna go into my TRRS adapter, boom. Oh, oh, that took a little bit, okay. And then, this is gonna go into the camera, so this should work, okay, this should work. And then what I'm gonna do with this lav is I'm gonna put it onto the Bluetooth microphone in the microphone input. Okay, so let's check back and see how this sounds. Wish me luck. So right now I have the receiver hooked onto the Osmo. I have the adapter plugged into my phone. I'm gonna take a picture of this because how I have it set up is pretty cool, but right now I don't have any audio coming in. Oh, I just realized I don't have any audio coming in. Well, actually, this should be the audio. So I'm going to now um, take this, put it in here, and then put this right here. And right now you should have some wireless audio. It should be no problem in theory because I have the receiver going into the adapter, going into the iPhone, and the Bluetooth microphone is setting the signal to that receiver, which is doing all that good stuff. And you should be getting audio, not from this, because I know that if I were to unplug it, the scraping is kind of an issue. So using this, that should fix it. So let's see how this sounds. Hopefully this works, because I'm really, really stoked. I, I was, I've been waiting for this for a while. All right, so we just learned that it does work. By using this, I get wireless audio. I no longer have any issues with the audio. And I'm using the DJI Osmo app to track, obviously. That's why I keep moving around all excitedly. Oh, it lost me. Oh, oh no. There you go, okay. So um, what's happening now is that, uh, oh, this thing keeps losing me. How embarrassing. Let me just draw this one more time. Okay, so what's happening now is that this Bluetooth microphone is transmitting the signal to the receiver. The receiver is now going into that adapter that's going straight into my phone. So what this means, guys, is that using your DJI Osmo Mobile, you can now have wireless audio, like a lav system, like I'm doing. And don't be limited to just a lav system like this thing here. If you think about it, you can put a boom pole, I mean a boom mic on that. If that has a 3.5 millimeter, that's going in this bad boy and that's transmitting right to this thing. And then you have your own photographer because this thing face tracks. Now, here's the thing. Um, it's, not, it's not cheap. This is $159 on Amazon. I got mine for 117 because it came used, which isn't a bad price. If you look anywhere else, and including the Sony site, which I do not recommend you doing, they have it for 200 bucks, 200 plus, and that's pretty expensive. Now, I got this because I Facebook Live, like I said, and I use it to make videos on my phone. So if you want to make that investment, and I think right now, after hearing it, it sounds pretty good. Um, then I say go for it, it does work. So again, this is the Sony ECM AW4. You can see it right there. And it's a Bluetooth wireless system that lets you plug in a 3.5 millimeter microphone into it, then take that, put that in your phone, use your DJI Osmo Mobile. In fact, I'm actually gonna record. I'm, I'm setting you guys up right now, like really good. So this is the stand and this is the Osmo. And I'm gonna go over here to my iPhone 7 Plus, and you can see the adapter. And then on top of that is the TRRS adapter. And then lastly, oh my god, actually, I do that again because we're gonna film it. Okay, so on top of that is the adapter that I have right there hinged, well, clipped rather, onto the uh, gimbal, which since it's on the base, it doesn't affect really the motors and stuff. So there you go. And I draped it over it so there'd be a little bit more uh, help with the weight. And if you notice, I have the adapter pointing that way and the uh, FaceTime camera towards the end because once you have that adapter in, you can't slide it into there. And that sensor, like we said in our other video, has to be covered. So, kind of a pain. All right, guys. Well, this is wireless audio. And actually, let's do a little test real quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand and... I'm going to move this way and keep moving. And it lost my tracking, I think. No, it's still there. So I'm pretty, I'm a good distance away. I'm about mm, 
I'd have to say eight to 10 feet. Does it still have me tracking? Oh, it does, fantastic. All right, so eight to 10 feet using the Sony ECMAW4 with my uh, microphone put into it and the receiver going there. And I could just like hide this thing, it's so small. So let's, I'm gonna show you actually, I'm gonna show you where I make my videos since now I can do this. This is the porch and um, over here is the, uh, it definitely lost me that time. Okay, over here is the grill and the reason I'm dressed like this is because I just got to work. They're having this huge marathon tomorrow in Connecticut and I had to go cover it. There's going to be more than 130 cops, aerial surveillance, all this crazy cool stuff to keep people safe. And then over here, oh, oh, I can't reach anymore. That's what it's saying. Okay. So it works. That's, that's the point of the story. This thing works and it's great. So if you want to buy it, go for it. See ya. Actually, no, I can't, I can't say that. I'm, I'm Ken from The Modern Reporter, and if you like this video, make sure you hit like. If you love this video, make sure you subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon.